Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful viewers. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host, Shivansh. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate that. All right. Some of you are stuck in making a decision. That's what you have prayed to your father in heaven about this. <laughs> this is the only card lying here, you know, about this energy. You are in that energy of four of cups, right? about uh, some kind of uh, non-clarity you are going through a mind trip right now i'm seeing this cup cards but actually you're going through a mind trip right now and you are trying to get that clarity you know that you know that's that's why this light is shining so bright here it's because universe put you in this energy to help you see certain things from a different perspective about your spirit that's the reason possibly you are stuck and you are not able to make decision and you have cried out to the universe and prayed to your father in heaven like father please help me before i die <laughs> all right so uh, this card is okay before i die and when you died uh, and in the process of resurrecting somebody has already died and resurrected all right while you were sitting in the four of cups energy somebody got a rude awakening a tower they got a clarity absolutely they got a clarity clarity to that level that they cannot uh, run away from they have seen some truth about you about how they put you through all right about how they have stuck your life this person is talking you right now yeah you are their you are their wish fulfillment you are their passion all right um, look i told you right i just wanted a confirmation they put you here in a stuck energy but it was all a divine master plan to take to help both of you to take that leap of faith all right this message is strictly for those people who has a pet all right cat dog whatever however a pet is there all right and that does not mean that who does not have pet then this message does not resonate with you no no it's not like that but somebody has a pet so for that person this is like take it all right Th this uh, spirit guide this cat dog whatever you have or you're seeing or coming to you all right in any shape or form this person this uh, spirit guide is giving you some kind of understanding and awakening about seeing some toxic energy around you all right as if like this dog sniffs and bring that energy to you to help you see that this person is not good all right so if you see some unusual behavior of your pet then know this there's this there is a saying like you know stay away because this is not a good energy all right so this spirit guide is helping you see all right there is somebody in your life who is guiding you big time to help you get that clarity to uh, to help you pull from that four of cups energy all right because you are not in this energy right now only you have been in this energy for some time and through that process you know there's this so black smoke coming out of this uh, lamp i don't know why that's how i'm feeling you have gone through that energy of yak all right then you died uh, and now after dying you know in between that spiritual and material world you are like where i am universe at the end for what i have put so much of war to be in this energy my life was even be much better than this who where i am today it was much better before you know why you are saying this because you are not consciously awakened at that point in time all right you were in that automated machine of the universe all right the switch was on and your life was going on now that you have come to awakening consciousness evolution you are feeling everything actually onto your bones all right before if you were like a person who uh, a relationship came and gone you did not even pay attention you know this person gone out of your mind after some time and then you probably fell in love with somebody all right but this time whoever this person entered your life they change your entire way of seeing things way of perceiving things your system is changed by this entrance <laughs> 
This person has given you towers, my dear, only to help you evolve, grow, move in your life, be a better human being, all right? Be that friend's philosopher and guide. Look at that. Be a better human being. Empress Scott, all right? This person has changed your life only to break you free from any past karmic uh, cycles, all right? And bring justice to your soul, my dear. Not to you, okay? To your soul. Because you who is hearing this message is your consciousness. That's why your polishing is going on through these messages, all right? So at the end, it is all about spirit and the spirit is always in the control of the divine because spirit is the child of the divine, all right? So we are just a body, uh, like we are the cloth of the soul, all right? So the universe needs to do justice to that soul that resides within you because of whom you have your identity. So you are a group of people who is carrying a lot of karmic baggages from the past and you are going through the process of clearing and while you are going through the process of clearing, you died, you resurrected, gone through that metamorphosis, transformation, God knows how many times only you know and your father in heaven knows you died and resurrected and now after understanding the material world, the matrix world and the fifth dimension you finally came into this energy like i'm leaving my life i'm doing everything possible that i can do and i'm okay with that yet what is it that i end up here at the end of the day that's where you are that's why you're not able to make that choice that's why you feel stuck all right looking out for help you have no idea where i can put in the war what different i can do all right but at the end of the day, I land up here and I land up here. Trust me, there is no problem with you. All right. Your finances are at stake. You know, everything is frozen in time for you. All right. You are there in that energy. Possibly uh, some of you are very much confused. Uh, all right. In that hermit mode. Every time you come back to that hermit mode, only to get that clarity that you have a lot of dark areas dark energies around you and you, you need to work on this so every time you switch from channel to channel you'll end up hearing the same message that you have this energy and you need to work on this energy you need to work on this inner child energy you need to are you getting me every time you are getting something where you are taught by the universe or forced by the universe to get messages though like the, like those that where you are feeling confused meditating struggling still in that energy all right and you are trying to understand what's what's wrong with me nothing is wrong with you my dear your father in heaven is saying you are perfect peace all right nothing is wrong with you it is just a soul evolution process so don't take it too seriously all right and be true to yourself if you're feeling sad numb feel it how does it matter my dear your father concern is he wants you to see your mother's concern is she wants you to see, wants to see that you are truthful to yourself. Yes, I love this person. This person left me high and dry into the hands of the mighty sky and walked out of my life. I don't know where the hell he has gone. All right. So I'm feeling like this. Feel it. Be truthful. That's what your father and mother is saying. All right. And while you are doing that with your father and mother somewhere, who walked out of your life they got into a pit hole died experienced something toxic only to die and resurrect to understand this connection this person is now meditating understand this connection all right i'm just going by the nudge and the download you see this person was taught by the universe how to be mature grounded be that leader be that king all right this person is uh your king but they were not vibrating in that king energy my dear so stop crying over this person. Leave everything to the universe and tell the universe, you know, father and mother, please fix this person for me and bring this person into my life. Until then, tell me what I need to do, I'll do. And then focus on to that. Let divine take care of this person. And divine is taking care of this person, my dear, yes? Because for divine, two lovers is very important, you see. Divine is saying that, we want true lovers like you because we are here for a mission. Father also is also in this mission, you see. This is a mission Shivai for me, all right. I want to see Shivai in everybody. <laughs> all right, Father, if I don't see you in this person, I will not go and talk. I'm genuine, you know. At the end of the day, I understand that from my feminine energy, 
I need to be kind and generous and humble to everybody even if this person is irritating you know like I'm still going there hello how are you doing you know I'm like that that's what you need to do my dear then only you'll be able to you know balance that energy all right so meditation continue to do meditation your father is going to give you clarity my dear okay your father is saying that continue to do meditation so whatever confusing state of mind you are in about your finances about your relationship about your connections about your healing uh, i will not say that it's coming it's on its way no no it is already taking place <laughs> in your life <laughs> father is saying that while you have tuned into this reading it's a, it is already in process all right it is in process it's a real time deal for you right now we're just getting a heads up because as i already told you father let late night psychic messages that i get download and i shoot father has already told you right he will speak however you understand he will speak to you take it or leave it is your choice if you take it you will face less challenge because you are following the guidance of the divine if you don't take it then father will still be by your side but he will be giving you tower to see hey why don't you see this why the hell you have to walk i'm asking you stop pulling you you know creating some kind of blockages so that you don't but you are still trying to uh, jump and go that side. You are calling tower for yourself, right? So you need to be very calm, grounded, you know, control with your emotions and keep doing you. Be true to yourself, how you feel about your emotions, all right? And look at that. I told you, remember, that you are dealing with toxic energies around. And that's why probably I got that uh, go uh, dog and cat uh, kind of intuitive hits uh, from the spirit guide, all right? Like the way, for example, the downloads that I have been getting these days are very, very psychic. And sometimes I even question myself, you know, what's wrong with me, Dan? All right, then I go to my office uh, and, uh, you know, on the rooftop of my uh, hotel, I stand and, you know, look into the sky, <coughs> looking for a sign in the sky, in the daylight, all right? just imagine how i'm going to get an answer right then father uh, has a way to speak all right i was just putting in the question to the universe like i just saw father that i'm on the right path i'm doing the right karma all right please guide me through okay help me see from the higher dimension from the higher perspective all right and continue to guide me through all right so that i don't get tempted or anybody trespass my energy system all right like that I was praying and you won't believe then and there there is this eagle all right came flying not one there were multiple uh, eagle that they, they came flying and they were just hovering over my head like this all right so that's what I'm trying to tell you all right let's say for example you are going through a drastic metamorphosis process all right trust me there will be pling 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 multiple butterflies will come dance around you all right they will pass on that message don't get triggered by whatever you're feeling right now you're going through that metamorphosis transformation process of from turning from cocoon to butterfly turning from who you used to be to who you are turning out to be you were just an ordinary woman an ordinary girl now you're trying to be that or the nareshwar all right, finding the balance within you of the divine feminine and divine masculine, my dear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how the signs and synchronicities will be. All right, if something is coming in rushing towards you, fast moving, you know, fast forward motion, you know, or you are seeing a lot of decorations or colorful certain things, then just notice that somebody is approaching you in a light, light speed, all right. Because horse always depicts a lover, all right? And it is the fastest moving energy, all right? In, in animal kingdom, like from the uh, horse perspective, there are with courage and dedication and determinations are like lion, tiger, leopard, like that, all right? Then deer, these are fastest runners, all right? So that's what I'm trying to tell you, that if you see these things, lots of colors, then notice that good days are ahead, all right? 
some of you may get engaged get married all right like for example i keep i, I am in the hotel industry i we give our banquet on rents and my only job as a event planner even organizer or sales manager like i'm checking on the banquet if the decorations are done or not if everything is organized or not so i'm handling a marriage something you know so that's my job you see so at the end of the day i'm like father what are you trying to say putting me into this job you know i'm like this but it's okay there are many things that i'm not liking but i'm more calm and grounded it's all right father you have some you have chosen it for me i'm like that all right you have to come in that energy father you have chosen it for me i respect it i take it with gratitude all right once you vibrate in that energy my dear trust me you know this that with this energy only you have turned out to be that divine feminine and masculine within you in complete balance and harmony giving you this most awaited uh, twin flame journey closer all right that means you are turning out to be a soul flame to just heal this connection completely from a different uh, perspective now all right with this sun cup you know healing is coming look at that your divine masculine has finally tapped into their uh, you know inner child and they are getting committed to their inner child all right absolutely because they want to take that leap of faith uh, in union with you leap of faith in union with you uh, to make sure that whatever injustice they have done to you they need to do justice and don't forget we got the justice card right so they feel a lot of passion for you they are going through that death and metamorphosis and judgment call look at that back to back all right I don't know how why it is shining maybe they are shining right now all right that and judgment all right this person is going through catastrophic experiences only to tap into their soul space they are going I told you remember in the beginning this is just a confirmation that this person while you were in this energy that I narrated this person walked out of your life only to get into a pit hole to die and resurrect after taking those ten, ten of swords all right multiple tower and multiple judgment call from the universe come in your uh, consciousness awakening my dear you cannot leave a soul contract uh, half done you have to return all right so that's what is taking place in their consciousness all right they have been taught by the universe righteousness Christianity how to be Christian how to be Sanatan how to be righteous how to live a life of guidelines principles you know yet live a very playful life they are also getting don't forget my dear this this too with this is a collective energy you are also going through judgment call right now they are also going through judgment call both of you will die and resurrect only to find that beautiful balance of yin and yang within you the day you will be in this energy that day how you are going to feel let me tell you you will no longer be in that energy of complaining if you are that get red they are on the pro on the way all right you will be like focusing on yourself about your life not in that high and dry and cry energy no 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 you know that's what i told you this is not an energy where somebody feels like this person is like this this is an energy where the person feels like where actually i went wrong maybe i could have done something in a different way you know this is a person who self-talk all right they will talk and they will continue to wonder about their relationship you know yeah but this is like yeah you know they, this is a, that kind of a person and at the end of the day they are like you know i'll do everything but what for me you know you know, I also want somebody at the end of the day to talk, to uh, put my uh, head down and share about my day, day-to-day -day life, all right? This is that kind of person. Not that this is not five of cups, Debbie Downer, no. This is four of cups. Four of cups energy is a beautiful energy where you talk to yourself. If you are in this energy, this is the scenario that I have already narrated conflicting uh, about your you have put in the work but you, your finances are going haywire you know the people around you are very much like conflicting you know you sometimes feel like to you know run away from all this but yet you feel like no 
I have my obligations, I have my liabilities, I need to take care of that. If you are this person in vibrating in that energy, you are in a good energy, trust me. Because you are a person who is contemplating also at the same time, without you even knowing about it. This is a group of people not like sitting in a corner and crying out to the universe for a reunion, for a union with their dear. Alright, this is a person who is living their day-to-day -day life, yet at the end of the day is the whole story for this person. What about me at the end of the day? I have done. I will do everything for the rest of my life, all that I do in the whole day. What at the end of the day? Then this is what is at the end of the day. Somebody very soulful is getting a line for you who will love you, who will respect you, who will love your individuality. You will be their crown. They will be prideful about you. They will be proud of you. This is a person who is coming towards you or getting aligned by the universe for you. This, you can count on this person like the way you will count uh, on divine, like the way you count on divine. That's what divine is trying to test you. How much of firm faith you have in the divine. All right, when you will have that firm faith in the divine, this person is going to project that same energy towards you. All right. They will see every relationship in you, all right? Every question. I mean, you don't have to even... There will be nothing in in between both of you that does not match, all right? You both will like the same songs. You both will watch the same uh, web series. You both, you both will be like a teammate, all right? Wonderful teammate, wonderful leaders, wonderful partners, all right? Wonderful couple. That's why I'm saying this person has stayed long enough confused, long enough contemplating and meditating, long enough looking into that uh, eight of cups, did not even realize that they are missing out some opportunities until they got power. And finally, they came into this situation of making the decision because they know they cannot hang into this energy for long and they have to put in the work to create their ace of pentacle with you and that's what they are doing in this process they have died and resurrected you know after this judgment call they died and resurrected only to head towards you to to give you that life that dream like life that you have prayed out to the universe for they are the one who is coming to your life as a magician. All right. They are coming. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Father is saying that this is a person who is your healer. Whatever you have been healing and giving for so long, actually for you, the ultimate healer is this person. That means you are a group of person who sees divine in this person. Even if you meditate, Let's say, for example, you are seeing Jesus, all right, or Krishna, or or Buddha, or anybody, or Shiva, all right. Like for me, I used to see Lord Shiva on uh, in my DM. Whenever I used to meditate, I used to see Lord Shiva. Then my DM reflection used to come like that, all right. So you see divine, whoever this person, whatever this person means for you, you see divine in them. And they are seeing divine in you all right that's the reason for both of your alignment and take that leap of faith with the shooting star making all your wishes come true and create a 3d world of dreamlike all right so you guys are turning out to be that magician all right but what i feel is that one of you are magician and the one who has sacrificed a lot and has gone through that uh, meditation process of the twin flame dynamic for the divine feminine and masculine alignment whatever is needed or the meditation that you have done that was only helping both of you to act in that magician energy and don't forget you know this is the energy wise is the gemini energy like twin flame gemini is the twin and this is already gemini so communication is coming because this person wants to heal this connection and start all over again take that leap of faith and we have seen leap of faith multiple times, my dear, and two times shooting star. Okay, so if you see shooting star and three times shooting star, look at that. This is also shooting star. Eight of cups also we saw that shooting star. And then in the um, hero, uh, 
full card also we saw that shooting star three times we have seen shooting star all right so if you see any photograph or in video or anywhere that you land up and you you see accidentally like shooting star take these messages as a confirmation if you see a lot of colors around you uh, all right or beautiful songs that is coming or beautiful fragrance all of a sudden coming towards you then know this that uh, these messages are prophetic for you and look at this i was talking about eagle right so some of you are getting that higher knowledge and wisdom all right maybe in the last full moon something happened uh, all right where everything change in your life the entire dynamic of your life change and the entire dynamic dynamic of your uh, love interest life has also changed all right it was all because it was a universal master plan to bring two lovers together so get ready until we meet again i'm sending across much love and light to you all om namah shivaya stay blessed and in peace bye bye